for me, the processes begin with um, going to town. I, I begin all my processes from going into the city and paying attention to what is happening. So um, I don't necessarily begin my works by thinking or assuming any form. I go to town and then um, have a series of conversation with people and also um, paying attention, critical attention to details within architecture um, and also how um, the domestic wall painters um, deal with colors. I think there are interesting things over there that we could possibly borrow into the studio. <clears throat> so what I do is um, sometimes I talk with people, also study how people are reacting to architecture, how um, the local craftsmen are also um, paying attention to their details in terms of building some of these, these things that they build. Sometimes I pick things from the city and then I bring them into the studio and also um, think through them, make models of some of the things that I want to see, make a lot of drawings in my notebooks and also um, make the drawings on Photoshop and also um, sometimes, like I said, I make models of them and then put them together later on before we even, uh, I talk to my co-workers, whether the, the carpenter or the, the, the welder that I work with. So that is how I begin my processes. It is not just about me alone, it is a series of events that come. I think my choice of materiality is inspired by my daily encounters within the city and also where I'm from and how um, especially um, most of the materials that I use, you usually see henna playing a large role and henna is also um, significant in our Muslim communities. So now the henna isn't used for um, just painting the body but then painting on canvas and also um, my choice of colors is also inspired by how domestic wall painters sort of deal with colors and I think there are a lot of interesting colors within the city that it's um, also very important for me as an artist to borrow from or to you know reference so the way I pick my colors are not intuitive or um, something that I invent myself but it is um, a thing that I copy from the city so usually I take a lot of pictures when I'm walking around the city so sometimes <clears throat> two things that are within one picture the colors that they are bringing becomes interesting then I pick a color from this store or this kiosk and then I put them together within one painting so my choices of colors and my choice of materiality are all inspired by um, the city and also one of the most important things for me and in terms of how I think about painting is how nature affects um, things especially um, artificial things so how rain and sun affects a, an already painted wall with time becomes interesting to me and how they are peeling off and also how some other things, um, humans intervention like touching and you know, all these things are ways of me looking at materials and how to um, achieve them within my painting become a priority for me. With me, the use of oil and acrylic is very important to me. It's also one of the things that I'm in, interested in, contradiction and paradoxes, how two things that doesn't meet become a way for me to practice so then I am putting acrylic on oil or oil on acrylic and the point that it separates leaves a very interesting um, mark for me or texture for me on the paintings and also um, layering a lot of posters that I take from town onto the same surface and then coming back to layer them with acrylic and oil paint and then going back to sometimes sand them for you to see the original images or original text on the um, surface of the painting becomes very interesting to me because at that point when an 
when a viewer is in front of the work, then he's not necessarily only watching a painting, but then he's reading the text on the poster, and also he's watching the images that have been transferred on the frames, and also sometimes the, the, the changing of the metal frames in terms of the rust. Whilst it's changing, you're also um, paying attention to moving images. So I think a lot happens with just a single piece for me. So then you are not only in front of a painting or a sculpture, but you are in front of an art piece which is bringing everything, collages, painting, photography, video, or, and not necessarily video, but or, or moving image together. So yeah, I think it's very interesting to me how all these things come together in, in terms of layering. And when I'm thinking about layering too, I'm thinking about layering in, in the form uh, culturally, historically, and also materially. Yeah, I think with the concept of layering, it is very important in my processes. It's, um, um, yeah, it's something that it's very interesting when you work and then you go back to it again, you go back to it to build it to a certain level and then go back to it again. So that idea of going back to one thing over and over is very important to me. And I think um, generally, no, um, that is also how life is. It is just like um, music. Um, I enjoy music a lot and even the idea of producing music or even watching live band, especially for me, very important. Um, like you're at a live band concert and the drummer is playing his, um, the pianist on his keys, um, the guitarist and um, maybe um, other instruments, you know, they are all playing different sound at the same time simultaneously and then in the end when you put everything together when you are listening to it together with the musician or the person who is singing it becomes one amazing song a beautiful song that um, you become soaked to it but when you're looking at it in details it is just a drama a pianist a, a guitarist or somebody playing a violin or you know all these things are coming together and it's also just like the um, idea of preparing soup you know so using that um, techniques in my paintings become very important to me. So I put on oil, then I come back and I put on acrylic, then I come back and I put on henna, you know, building it from one stage to another, one stage to another. It's very important to me in my processes. And in the end, it's all become an amazing painting that you can't take away the henna or the oil or the acrylic. They all become one thing, a solid piece. The idea of constructing painting rather than just uh, making a painting i think of a painting as something that should be constructed so instead of um, just okay i'm stretching a canvas to make a painting no i am building a painting from the scratch so within just one painting we are welding we are constructing carpenters are working on the project and um, welders are part of the processes and you know all these are coming together to become one solid sculpture or painting or object or monument that um, my works entails. So these are some of the basic things that I think about, though it goes beyond. And usually it's um, through the working process that all of these things are revealed. So it is a process. It is not just um, um, an idea that is presented. It is something that is built little by little by little and then it becomes a solid piece uh, this question again um i don't um try to situate myself with um, within the two um, different classifications of art i rather prefer to call myself an artist rather than a painter or a sculptor because um i think what i do and even the concept of painting or the concept of sculpture also sort of contradicts itself. They, they are in themselves each other. Painting could be um, a sculpture in terms of how the viewer is engaging with it and also a sculpture could also be a painting in terms of how the viewer is dealing with it. So I prefer to be an artist and also um, because most of my works doesn't necessarily, um, I don't even know what to call them because they are paintings that are presented as sculptures and also the sculptures in themselves are also um, 
sculptures that are also painterly in effect. So I'd, I would rather not, um, and also even most of my works, um, they go beyond the normal painting and sculpture that we think of. Um, yeah, I think my work involves um, a lot of people. I don't only work, I work with um, collaborators as I, I don't really call them collaborators. I prefer calling them co-workers. Um, I work with welders, I work with carpenters, and also sometimes the references that are um, the muse or the models that I work with are people that I um, work with from town into the studio. I have a lot of people that I work with and I don't think they are excluded within the processes or the work itself. They are all involved in the making of the work and their efforts and contribution is largely as important as mine is. It all begins with um, the planning. So I, I, I go within the city and then make a lot of drawings, um, sometimes drawings of things that I encounter within the city, sometimes drawings of movements of people, sometimes what is happening within the um, city and also how people are thinking about all these forms. So <clears throat> I make drawings of what I see in town, take pictures of them and then also um, with the references, historical references, like some of the things that were happening or the forms or the architectures that emerged during the Baroque or Rokuko era, then I juxtapose them and then, you know, combine them and then draw them for a final work. So it's always um, a go and come situation, like going to town to see what is happening and surfing on the internet to also see what happened historically and then combining all. I don't work on one piece at a time or one project at a time. I'm always working on multiple projects, you know, whether within the studio or outside the studio, at home, you know, so it is always me um, working within different, different locations and different sites, working on different projects. Sometimes you have to travel to do other workshops with kids somewhere else. All are ways of me thinking about my um, works and also doing a lot of um, art talks somewhere else. Those are ways of me thinking about how practices reaches other people who are in different locations and in different times. But apart from the works that I am doing in my studio, I have also works that I am doing at home and also <clears throat> works that I am doing within the city with other collaborators, which are also ongoing and all are being worked on simultaneously. So nothing is left behind and nothing is left um, it's in isolation. They are all together as one project which are happening within different different locations at the same time.